Hello fellow tributes, this is Catching Fire 3, and guess what? One of my friends on uh, Steam found this game, I was talking to him on Skype, F found this game that he got a while ago called Genesis Online. Pretty much what it is is a carbon copy clone of Minecraft, as somebody put it. But as you can see from the graphics, it's a lot, lot, and by a lot, I mean a lot worse. But we're not going to play the game, at least not if you guys, not unless you guys want me to. There, this game has really bad reviews on it. And they all, if you can see, don't have a lot of hours on it. For instance, just play Trover, some similar game to Minecraft. This game, if you haven't picked up on the other reviews, is pretty bad. What I understand as the premise of the game is that you're trying to make your house look cool by gathering materials from the biomes. Or, this game isn't practically good. For instance, there are many bad functions in the game which can be proven very easily. And then, let's see, what what is this one? The pros... There's some community out there. You can break blocks, you can place blocks. There's a pro to this. Exactly. No no tutorial, just work it out for yourself. Very, very bad inventory system. Oh, yes. Please do, don't try this at home, for instance. This game made me go outside. Edit. I now have a social life. See? Am I right? I asked my friend to play this with me. I don't have friends anymore. 10 out of 10. Looking for friends. <gasps> oh, yes. These guys are hilarious. I see why it's a psychological horror in the tags because that's one of the side effects of this game. Oh, my God. I gave it a try. Despite the sea of negative reviews, I thought to myself, how bad can I possibly be? After 10 minutes of server hopping, the game is just filled with random dirt structures, random holes, fl flying leaves with no wood in sight. And I kid you not, two people asked me to leave the server because they were busy cybering. Oh my god. Zero out of ten. At least an uninstall works. Oh, oh, that's gross. Cybering, really? Uh, it takes ages to load. Okay. I've seen that a lot when looking at them. P there were a lot of people that couldn't even get past the load before it stopped. But until it stops crashing and it is worked on a little more, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, here it is. This game is a masterpiece. A perfect mix of emotions, drama, and intense action. It made me feel sad. It made me cry. It made me smile. And most importantly, I lost my mind. This game is like a worn out dying child. But you can't build up the courage to put it out in a, a, a pow or out of, put it out of its misery. When you first start the game after a lengthy loading screen, you get a bare bones character creator. After you've created your monstrosity, you get plopped into the world with no context, nothing. Then you're free to explore. Explore the 15 squared block of nothing. After laughing intensely at its awfulness, you're ready to go meet other people. The first two people I met was Springs and blah blah blah. I don't know what that is. You haven't seen shit until... You've played Genesis Online. If you call this number, it's Fecal Matter. If you call this a masterpiece, I guess, it's Fecal Matter. That's exploded out of a hippo's ass while it, it, ha it was muck spreading. Muck spraying, I think. Playing this game is like wiping your ass with your toothbrush, then using it to brush your teeth for the rest of your life. Oh, and the microtransactions? Awful. It would be more fun to throw your money off a bridge or give it to someone in need than to spend $30 for a fucking hours. My final rating for this game is a ride to hell retribution out of 10. Oh my god, that actually sounded like a real review when I read it like that. Just, if you, this is a free-to-play game, if you do want... <laughs> if you do want to actually play it and then leave a review, link in the description. I haven't played it yet, but from these and the screenshots and all that, I know for a fucking fact this game sucks. But I will do a video on it. I thought this game would be bad in a good way, where it's funny, but it's so bad it's bad in a bad way. Jordan's server got banned. Jordan's server fell in water, couldn't get out. Jordan's server didn't see anything, uh, anything player built other than prick. Blank and blank. 10 out of 10 user creativity. 
god, somebody just wrote no. <laughs> the reviews are better than- See, like I was saying, the reviews are better than the actual game. Can't even start playing. Keeps crashing all the time. I guess I'm blessed. Whew. Well, it literally doesn't even load up. That's a great sign. Uninstall works perfect. That's the only thumbs up I've seen so far. And it says uninstall works perfect. Awesome. Bad Minecraft clone on Steam. Controls are rather awful. Also, you can't change the screen resolution. There is an option for it, but it doesn't work. Another negative point is there is like nobody online. If you want to play a building survival game, buy the original. Avoid. I think there was more actually. Hold on. No, that's it. No problem. If you want someone to play it with, I would love to have someone to play it with. <laughs> That's exactly what my friend said that was playing this as well. He was like, oh, you can make the screen resolution low. And then he tried it and it was like, it, it doesn't work though. <laughs> I hate this game. When I first loaded it up, the inventory screen crashed me. That was a pretty dick move considering that was, that was one of my first quests. This is not only a Minecraft clone, but an ass one. But ass one, I don't even know. At that, at that, as it made me want to cry myself to sleep at night and never love again. With gr glitchy quests and horrible loud noises, it made me want to go outside and get some sunlight for once. Love will. XOXOXOXOXO. X. Oh. <sighs> it took over four days for the loading bar in game to move less than an electron. Oh my god, that's terrible. 10 hours to load, finally gets in game, looks up at sky, crashes, 0 out of 10, never play it again ever. Don't. <laughs> this is if Roblox and Minecraft had a baby, except that baby had Down Syndrome. <laughs> Fuck me, oh my god, that's terrible. Minecraft ripped off Genesis Online. <laughs> Fuck yes, that's so fucking true. Only Minecraft was way better. And Roblox was before Genesis, so I guess... Genesis ripped off Roblox, who ripped off Minecraft, I guess? I don't really know how that works. Oh no, what's this? <laughs> nice. Everybody... Oh my god, these are... Okay, here we go. First startup, doesn't load, uninstalled right after. Opinion, 10 out of 10, best game. Second startup, installed again, got stuck again. Third startup... Didn't load. I just watched the trailer and I'm even more scared to go into this game than before. It seems like I even more shit Roblox that somehow merged with Minecraft. Fourth startup. I don't know why I've tried these many times, but I'm gonna let this game load for an entire hour. Apparently this actually has a community page. There's four guides about this game in English. There's three which are just joking about the game and one that's actually detailed. Wow, I just found out you, you can leave the store and it'll save your review. That's pretty cool. Nothing I waited for an hour, uh, an hour and nothing. 10 out of 10 loading simulator. The uninstall button works perfectly fine. Everything else does not. Players can fucking load screens equal Worse than Sonic 06 times. Oh my god. Oh. That's it. I'm just gonna play Loading Screen Simulator if that's all this game is. I'll just. I'll just like. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. That one right there. If you ever wanted a reason to hang yourself, here it is. Wow, this is not a ripoff at all. Dot, 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 dot. I'm not going to read all those dots. Oh, I found this game from a friend, and it's bad. Here's my review. Pros. Nothing. Cons. Everything. Can I make this my screenshot, please? Thank you. Uh, my doctor asked me if I knew what gave me PTSD. I showed him this game. He now has PTSD and a restraining order on me. I also need a new doctor. Uh, let's see. This is a clone of Minecraft. Bad clone. There's a lot of grief. In it. There's a lot of grief, and it's impossible to get wood that is required to quest. Very bad game. Tried to make a character crash. Tried to make my character terrible on. Stayed black. Tried to throw rocks. Crashed. Oh my god. This is. Oh my god. Let's let's try and. Yep. Here it is. My favorite part of the game is the starter pack. It has everything you need. A noose, a chair, and a note to your family. 66 out of 6, God is dead, and this is the true form of Satan, IGN. 
No! I had a lot of fun uninstalling this game. Ah, uh, find trees and forest seems easy enough. It is a forest after all. Oh my god! Hold on, I need one more. Here it is. <gasps> yes, yes. There's actually a log. Oh, I'm not even gonna read that. That's too long. Oh, uh, one more. Just one more. I need to. Oh, here we go. Finds a blocky game, installs, opens game, plays the tutorial. Tutorial has no idea what it's saying. After done with it, j joins the server. Joins the server with two people on it. Joins. They tell me to get off. I got off. Went back to my world. Has no idea what to do. Uninstalls. One million or ten thousand out of zero would install. This is a useless game that looks like Minecraft. I'd rather play Minecraft than this. And listen to Salty Kids. This game is pretty dead. I just saw like zero players per server besides the two people I met. I'd advise I'd advise you don't install this game. You'll find out to uninstall and refunds guarantee. There, but it's a free game. But yeah, that's uh. There's a lot of bad reviews for this game. If you can't already see by this right here, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fucking great game. Uh, but if we go down to these ones that they show immediately, uh, let's see, there's a better one somewhere. How they made this game. Get a cement, uh, get a cement mixer. Take a shit and let others shit in it. Turn on cement mixer. Throw in Minecraft Trove and Creativers. More shit. Even more shit. Add feature when you log off, you lose everything. Pay nine year olds to review this game as good. Add overpriced in-game purchases. Rip textures from Minecraft with a 144p Bandicam video and screenshot. Mix well for two minutes, aka the time it took to make this game. Yep. Am I right? Great game. Well, if you like this video, leave a like. Check out the game. Leave a bad review. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Do not shit on the people that make this unless you want to. Do not mention me as somebody that shits on this game. I think it's just funny, the reviews, and... Well, I guess the next video you'll see after this one is one of this game. See you in the next video. May the odds be ever in your favor.